In today's video, five incredible, unique fragrances that I discover that you most likely don't know about. I do this video every month, which I talk about the best discoveries of that particular month. Today is actually the first day of September. Labor Day is around the corner. So in this video, you're gonna find out about five amazing discoveries I made in the month of August. If you guys wanna discover these, come with me, you're in for a treat. Welcome back to another video, Max Forte here. If you do love to make a great first impression and a lasting impression, you should know that smelling good is a great way to do that. So the five fragrances I'm about to share with you today are fragrances that really blew my top over the last four weeks. I'm talking about the month of August, this is September. So every month, subsequent, I give you the best discoveries I made in that particular month that passed. It could be new releases, it could be just the first time I tried something. And what I love to do is I love to highlight some brands that otherwise you probably never heard of. So with our journey, you know, the proverbial rabbit hole, we do like to discover new things, especially when it comes to indie and niche. And that's what I'm gonna be highlighting in today's video. Kicking off the list here with a brand that I think you do know, in fact, I just did a podcast with them, uh, Bernardo Moller, which is the brand founder and creative director. I'm gonna pop, uh, actually, I'll leave it in the description of this video if you wanna check out the uh, conversation we had talking about this particular brand. And the fragrance itself we're gonna highlight here from this line is going to be Infinite Oud. Now, what I loved about this fragrance is two things. Number one, even though the name is Infinite Oud, you're going to be getting something very exclusive and very unique here. This is going to be, here's the thing. It is very, very appealing. What I loved about this fragrance is that it gave me quite a bit of great um, feedback from people. Even though it has Infinite Oud in the name, it's not really a skanky, a medicinal, a you know barnyard or fecal kind of oud at all. This is actually very pleasant. What I do get most here is going to be a fruity vetiver uh, nuance. To me, it's a combination of fruits, vetiver, a little bit of florals. Uh, the oud here is really minimal, really for support. I mean, the bottles themselves look like a work of art, and I love this particular composition. This is versatile. This is something that's refined. It's it's gonna smell, it's gonna make you, it's gonna smell amazing, but it's also gonna make you feel incredible. It's gonna make you feel like very well put together. It's a very elegant fragrance. It's a very unique take on oud. And again, mostly of a fruity vetiver kind of a fragrance combination. Loving this one, guys, the caps look incredible. These are actually handmade. The nose behind this particular fragrance is Carlos Benaim, which is a master perfumer of our, of our time, as we know. You want something refined with oud in it, but it's not overbearing or hard to wear, this is a great choice right here. Speaking of great choice, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about another brand that I discovered, which is the brand of Federico Parfums. Now, the, the nose behind this brand is Justin Federico, and he is a great perfumer, kind of like underground. Not many people talk about him, but he's done some incredible works, uh, which you can obviously check on online to check out some of his works. And this is his private, this is actually his collection. This is his uh, actual brand. It's called Frederico Parfums, and this one's called Blooming Amber. Now, what I love about his brand, number one, beautiful sprayers, very minimalist, number one. The pricing is absolutely incredibly affordable, but two things I love, the ingredients, the performance, and the scent profile of his fragrances. Everything I tried from this brand has this very timeless, very refined, um, heritage kind of a feel to the fragrances. You're talking Chipras, uh, you're talking Fougeres, you're talking, you know, just very old world quality. You, you think about refinement, old world quality, his fragrances will have that, will possess that every step of the way. This is going to be, and again, one thing that really captivated me with this one here, in particular, Blooming Amber, is the wild honey facet. This has a gorgeous honey feel to the fragrance. It's amber, it's floral, and then you have the honey. The honey here is just so natural smelling. It almost like has this eucalyptus slash honey kind of a vibe. It's a little bit bright, but also spicy with the amber, and the honey here just adds this facet to the fragrance that's absolutely incredible. If you do love honey fragrances, this is not a need to try, this is a must try. That simple. Love this stuff and this sings on your skin. It's gonna last all day. It could have very well be called wild honey or sensational honey or, you know, because the honey here is definitely the star player of the scent. No toys about it. Me loving honey, I'm in love with this one. Now we're gonna talk about a brand that's a relatively young brand out there. It's a brand that most people are starting to discover and I see a lot of people on Instagram especially talking about this particular brand and I just had to get my nose on it. I got a discovery kit and I fell in love with at least four of their creations. And 
the nose of this particular brand is actually the creative director. He's a creative director, perfumer, founder. He does it all with this fragrance brand. His name is Michael Paul. And like I said, there's about three to four fragrances that I really enjoyed. This one here being the, the favorite. That's why it's here at the best discoveries of the month. This is from the house of day three fragrances and this is downtown Deja Vu. I've yet to smell something this good this year. Definitely one of my, wow, this is just, breathtaking just mouth watering it's going to open up with this gorgeous red fruits melange strawberries cranberries raspberries just a explosion of red fruits it's absolutely incredible it's going to be a little bit sharp on the account of the red fruits they are going to be zesty uh, definitely very fruity guys there's a little bit of an animalic feel that comes through with a combination of notes here and an animalic feel is going to add a little bit of a bitterness to the scent with the well the account of those two wild musk and leather facets that this has. It's not gonna be overbearing, but it's gonna make it for a very interesting transition, if you will. But if you have the patience, those red fruits along with that animalic leather and wild musk will make way for an incredible dry down. That's gonna be a little bit powdery, but not too much. But you have iris here, which I love iris, and I know a lot of people watching this video are a huge fan of iris and their fragrances. This iris is not gonna be a lipsticky kind of iris. It's more of a creamy iris. And along with those red fruits, you also have other citrus notes, including apple, and also the cotton candy accord that will peek through as the fragrance starts to develop and dry down. So that sweetness will definitely become more prominent. And this, to me, on skin, you know, on blotter is gonna be one thing, but when you wear this on skin, this stuff here is an incredible scent. Downtown Deja Vu is something that I highly recommend you try. And if you like something that's unique, that's different, that's exotic, it's gonna make you stand out and also make you smell different than anybody else. This is one that I highly recommend you guys checking out. Very, very much in love with this brand. Uh, the quality, the pricing, I mean, it checks all the boxes and it's one of my best discoveries of the year thus far. Now, before I get into the last two, uh, speaking of best discoveries of the year so far, if you guys wanna discover uh, great niche fragrance brands, you know that you guys should definitely check out the description of this video and also check out scentexplore.com. You're gonna get a gift box just like this one containing 35 uh, to 40, more like 45 to 50 uh, single individual, if you will, uh, samples, as well as discovery kits from the various brands featured at Scent Explorer 2023. Guys, check out the description of this video and also the pinned comment at the comment section of this video to learn all about this incredible international hybrid event. It happens every year, first weekend of December. It's hybrid and in person. It's virtual and in person, meaning you can join us either virtually or in person. For the first time in the history of Scent Explorer, we are shipping these internationally so guarantee your box discover probably all these brands here that i'm talking about here today and many others to discover over 70 niche brands will be featured at scent explore and you can discover them whether you come to the city or if you want to receive them at your home so check out details it's a great immersive educational and fun entertaining um you know hybrid international niche convention that happens every year i truly hope to see you guys at scent explore now continuing the countdown here this is going to be another brand U.S. Based, um, U.S. based brand. I think, to be honest with you, all except for the last one that I'm going to share with you here in this video are U.S. based brands, which really makes you think, wow, you know, uh, the U.S. is making great strides when it comes to niche perfumery. And this particular one is called Oud People. I talked about Infinite Oud. Now, this Oud here, whoa. Now, just right off the bat, guys, you need to know this. The Elemental, if you haven't heard about this company, if you haven't tried or, or know anything about this, going in i'm going to prep you i'm going to let you know that his fragrance are going to be two things very very polarizing and very very sensual so if you like polarizing sensual fragrances this brand is for you i urge you to try if you are a person that when you're walking into a room you want to be noticed you want people to turn their heads like who smells like this this brand is for you now oud people i wanted to talk about because it has egyptian sandalwood frankincense, oud, and chocolate. So this is going to be a gourmand take on oud. So guys, this stuff is absolutely incredible. If you love gourmand fragrances, if you want gourmand exoticness, this is it. And this is one, ladies and gentlemen, that I really think it will make either my top fall or top, top winter because it's a very polarizing and powerful scent. That sandalwood with the frankincense as the smoky creaminess to the fragrance. Then you got the agarwood, you know, the wood here 
the woods, the agar wood, and of course the chocolate, which is this dark chocolate. It's decadent, it's delicious, it's delectable. I love this stuff. Really amazing. Haven't really worn this much because it's still kind of warm. It's still, you know, you know, August, September. At the time you watch this, I think it's actually September. So as we start, you know, diving into the fall, this is gonna be one that I'm gonna be pulling for nightwear as one of my secret weapons. This is absolutely seductive and delectable. This is the Elemental Oud People. Try this brand, guys. Get a discovery kit. You will come back here and thank me. And last but not least, of course, I love my boozy fragrances, and that's why I left this one here for last, because when it comes to wow notes, I look at three notes, tobaccos, boozy scents, and leathery scents. This one here, I am in love with. I'm happy to share with you. This is going to be from the house of Lorenzo Pazzaglia. This is an Italian house that I discovered back in April, early May of this year. And this is called Vampirum, which is a play on words, which is basically ven, pie, and rum. So it is a rum base scent. It's going to be rather gourmandy, but absolutely sensational as well. Something that I will definitely be rocking in the fall. This may very well make my top fall of this year. It's really up there. Uh, running to be in the top 10. Uh, I normally do a top 12, so it'll definitely be in the top. This is absolutely incredible, guys. We're talking rum. We're talking a combination of vanillas. This is inspiring. This is going to be a presence kind of a scent, a room filler type of a scent. You raw, if you spray your clothes, forget about it. It'll be there for two days. It's that simple. It's powerful. It's a little bit powdery, though. You got a ton of different vanillas here, so it's going to dry down a little bit more powdery uh, than anything else but the rum here up front is going to greet you at hello. Uh, think about pure malt from Mugler. I think it was discontinued where it's getting harder to find. So it's gonna have a little bit of a nuance of pure malt along with more vanilla. So it's, it's got more vanilla than pure malt did, but it's also spicy, definitely woody. You do have sandalwood, it's creamy, it's spicy, it's woody. It is absolutely incredible. That's simple, no two ways about it. It's one of those, you know, just, head turning type scents, just like Oud People that I talked about. If you want a fragrance that's gonna make you stand out, Vampirum is your fix. So there you have it, five incredible discoveries I made last month. And if you wanna try any of these five fragrances and thousands to choose from, you know the best place is perfume.com. For Labor Day, we got a special code for you, Labor25. You get 25% off site-wide from the time you're watching this video until Monday at midnight, which is actual Labor Day. So enjoy that savings. Of course, if you enjoy the channel, show me that you do. Show me your support. Leave me one of these. Subscribe for more. And of course, I will see you right back here with another video very soon. Take care.